Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about something that I have noticed over years, but especially lately. Um, over the years, well, let me start here. I grew up in a place that, where there were a lot of hurricanes and tornadoes. Okay, and for many, many years now, uh, the family that I have still living down in that area, when there were tornadoes, or I mean not tornadoes, but hurricane warnings, you know, they know they can come up away from there where the rest of us live. Okay, away from there to where you don't have a chance of that. But every year, I mean, every, not every year, but sometimes it is every year these days, but quite often they won't do that. They hear the warning signs, they're told to evacuate, they, um, you know, friends and family members, but they won't do it. They somehow, for whatever reason, they, they have this in their mind that uh, that just happens to other people. Well, twice, they've been, more than twice really, it's, it's, were the times that they didn't come up here, they were taught otherwise, but they did it the second time, you see? Twice, that's two. And, and now that it's not, you know, there, there are no tornado uh, hurricanes down there, so it's not a, at a moment like that. I'm just talking about it now because I, I sit there and I go, what is wrong with them? Seriously, I have wondered this for many, many years. You know, or they would wait, they would, you know, the other times they would wait until the last moment to leave. They just don't seem like things would affect them. That it really, they, they just don't have that in them to say that, is, you know, this could happen or that could happen or, you know, we could be on the road forever stuck there. None of it. <laughs> but what I've seen more recently is, you know, like on social media when, um, I've seen this for years. I've been, mean, my first time was 1990 and anything like a social media. But it's when people believe, they truly believe. That whenever the owner, you know, uh, whatever it is, was then and now, when, like any of them would say, we're going to close this uh, website, this whatever, or there are going to be great changes, big changes, and this, people would still keep doing what they, know, what they were told, stop doing, you know, that they would put up um, guidelines and stuff, they'd still do it. It did not affect, it wasn't about them. That's how they felt, they seemed to feel. And it would state it, that, nah, nah, that's not gonna happen. You know, this thing. Okay, and that, that was even if they said that. You know, someone just totally ignored it. I remember a few years ago, I told, I mentioned something to a woman, and uh, I don't know who, I don't know her anymore. But um, I mentioned to her and she says, well, they didn't send me an email personally, so unless they send me an email, it is null and void. <laughs> uh, no, that's not how it works. But her arrogance all around, as I found out, you know, later on started, or then, around that time, started to realize she was so arrogant. Just saying that pretty much summed it all up, you know, that they have to send her an email, pers an email personally, or it's null and void. No, she was on a free service, and she's not paying them, and it is their service. They say no, they may no. Ignorance of it, that's your problem. Yeah, it's a big difference between a hurricane and something on a social media. But it's the same kind of, it, to me, it's the same kind of mentality. The same kinds of, the, you know, the way they, they see themselves as they're so high up there, that it won't happen to them, and it just wouldn't happen to them. Amazing to me. But these are the these are kind of people. Want some of the people, kinds of people. Boy, I'm not getting it out today. That just really irritate me. Now, there's another one that kind of exhausts me. I guess in a way, I could say they both exhaust me and irritate me and all that. And uh. And that is the type that they do wrong, like like going against something, so it's kind of all one, but they go against something that uh, they were told, you can't do this anymore, like I was just saying, and they get away with it. Nothing does happen to them. Okay, <laughs> think about it. Uh, I was going to go down a different, little bit of a different road, but know this. 
the, and it is that of the nothing happens to them. Now other people they do something by mistake one time or something and pa you know pounce. Oh, you should have never done these, but these other ones no, they just keep getting away with it. And that's the, and you start to wonder. Is there something going on that you just don't understand? <laughs> Certain people can do whatever they want. And same social media platform. There's so many of them over all these years. And I've seen it. And some get away with it. Some don't. And yes, I know why. Or I have a good idea why. So I don't need anybody to tell me why. <laughs> yeah. it's, just, it's, like I said, exhausting in several ways. You know, you, you see this as a no-no, you, you're told no, you cannot do it, and there are penalties if you do. Um, you know, and you or you hear about the weather, you hear, you must leave or problems associated. But with the people who don't, that yeah, sure, they go through a while of hardship, but then they, yeah, they're, they're, they're good at begging. Okay. Now, some of it, yeah, you know, there's things set in place for people who are, um, you know, were affected by hurricanes and stuff, but I've known some to purposefully. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm just not going to go there. At least in my mind, they were purposefully trying to get more money. You know, these kinds of things. I mean, it, it's just in my mind. I have no idea that was their goal, but it just and the, the e not the e-begging, but the begging thing from other people from that they could get sympathy from people acting as though they had nowhere to go during all of it and they just didn't have the money for gas and stuff like that yet they found them eventually yeah I suddenly found it but they had a like a little free vac vacation I don't know maybe it's just how I see it maybe there was some cir circumstances that they couldn't leave but yeah, these things people they just get away with stuff just oh yeah it's nothing new to me by the way Venting a little bit about that. I really did. Oh my goodness. And yeah, it's on my mind for a reason. And it's not it's not any kind of weather thing, but it's just on my mind. The way some of these people con people. You know, like I was talking about, you know, the to get the um, sympathy and then finance behind it. You know, I have it people sending them money whether it's online offline in person whatever um, however they can get for whatever it is even when they do they go against what are the rules like online they go against the rules yet at the same time they're somehow making money the world like I said this none of this is anything new so I don't need anybody to tell me how I should think and this is what it is and give me a definitions and Tell me to go to this and read that. <laughs> it always amazes me when people do that. No, it doesn't amaze me. I've seen it too many years. So, yeah, nothing really amazes me anymore. But I like to talk about it. I like to get it out there and say, you know, you're not alone either. So, anyway, wrapping it up.